Okay, so in this one, um, we're going to call this one Color Theory 2. That'll probably be like what the assignment is going to be labeled in Schoology when I because I want to see again this one that you do. So this one, I've made a little grid. So here I have my four colors at the top that we just talked about. Dark brown, dark green, indigo blue, and Tuscan red. Okay, and you're going to need to make this grid. So I have four at the top. And then I picked out 12 colors from our set that they, you know, they kind of form the color wheel. They go all the way from yellow to the orange, the pinks, the reds, the violets, the blues, the greens, and another dark brown here. So it's 12 colors off to the left. So you're going to want to label them. And then also what I did, as you can see, is I kind of uh, put a little bit on there for each one, and then you can see them individually. Um, and notice, you know, process red actually looks more pink than even magenta. Magenta looks like a little bit more red than process red. Um, carmine red has, it almost looks like there's a little bit of orange in it. So when you um, put these individually, you can really see um, the color. That's also good to know. So your set may be like 48 pencils. It may be 72 pencils. So yes, you're going to probably use more um, than this, just these 12, but let's just make this color grid with just these 12 to get you started a little bit with color mixing. So we're going to mix the yellow with the dark brown, the yellow with dark green, yellow indigo blue, yellow Tuscan red. Okay. So I'm just going to do some of them. I'm not going to obviously sit here and record myself doing every single one. But I'm going to show you how you're going to layer and mix these colors. Okay, so yellow is my first one. So I'm going to do just like a light coat of yellow in this square. Okay, just kind of a couple of coats. And then I'm going to come in with my dark brown because I'm going to layer this on top of it to see what they do when they mix together. And then I'm going to add yellow one back on top of it. And see how my strokes are all really close to net together not scratchy. Actually, I'm going to bring my camera up lower so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to do yellow with dark green. I'm going to move this way. So again, I'm still with my yellow. It's not scratchy. It's not messy. Mix it with my dark green and see what happens. And we're doing this because when we actually get to like doing our veggies and our fruit and our little still life, you know, you're going to have these little color grids to look back on. You're like, well, I need a certain color. How did I get that earlier when I was practicing all this? And this, by doing this base work or groundwork, then it helps later on because then it kind of cuts out again trying to figure out how to mix some of these so it's kind of nice to have these to look back on and then as you're doing this you're getting comfortable with the colored pencils and how to use them and how to work with them and how they mix okay obviously my indigo blue and my yellow are going to make a green color it's kind of similar to what i just made there on the left with the dark green but not entirely you see how i'm layering back and forth with two colors. So now I'm going to do my yellow, my Tuscan red, and see what happens. It's probably going to turn a little orangey. Okay, so then I'm done with that. So now I'm going to go to orange and do the same thing. Orange. And dark brown. And see how it darkens it. So I layered the dark brown on. And now I'm going to go back and layer the orange back on top of it a little bit. Now I do orange and dark green. And you know, these may not be colors that you're always going to have to use or find in whatever we're doing. But that's okay. We're getting used to mixing these colors and seeing what happens with them. It's kind of a weird brownish 
color. Let's do orange and indigo blue. Orange and blue are complementary colors, so they're probably going to make brownish color. That's what happens when you mix your complementaries. It may not be the most pleasing color, but it may be something that you need in the future. And then we'll do orange and Tuscan red. So you're going to do these for all 12 colors. I'm going to go ahead and do all of it so that I'll show you a completed one here, but I'm not going to record myself because that's just silly. But I'll come back in a minute when I'm all done. All 12. Okay, so here is my finished um, color theory cult number two, we're calling it, where I use my dark brown, my dark green, my indigo blue, my Tuscan red, and I mix them all with my 12 colors over here. And that is that.